sister Akus Bomi D, mami One, fin, swat Ewe, gang, boss, apua Otonono, apua Otonono, apua Apua, apua Otonono Sister Akus Mami Saadi, you know Saadi, you know Where the mami Saadi, you know Me too Sister Akus Mami Wadi, you know Have fun with it Coffee Coffee, coffee Coffee Coffee, coffee Coffee Coffee, coffee Coffee I'm going to ask everyone to go to someone you don't know. At least two people you do not know. Ask them their name, why they are here. If they're good looking, ask them for their telephone number. Is that all right? So the next two minutes, lady, I can see you at the back. Go to someone you don't know and ask them who they are, their name, and why they came here today. Be they know let's get some music for the background as they do that. <laughs> they don't know. Wow. Sharon, should we find out? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, go and find out for me. Okay. I'm going to the lady in the front, the girl very bright. Can we have your name and why you're here tonight? My name is Athea. Should I stand up? That'd be better, yes. Hello everyone, good evening. My name is Athea Dom and I'm here um, because I'm a medical fan. <laughs> Thanks very much. <laughs> Are you single? Who else spoke to someone they don't know? Ask a guy, ask a guy, Sharon. I'm going to ask a guy who can rather snag you tonight. Okay. Tell your name and why you came here tonight. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Stand up, don't be shy, don't be shy. Wear the ace of jackets. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. JD Krebs. Hey. Show them. What's your name, brother? I'm uh, Jermaine Timberoff. How are you doing? Oh, God. Did you hear me? You're a medical engineer, man. You're a pro, say. What's it? They say you're a pro, say. Derek, what for you, bro? Eat, eat, eat. Please, around of applause for Derek. Sorry, one more person. Let's ask one more girl towards the back. One more person. This is the the lady with the blue hair. Yes. Please let her stand. Let her stand, Sharon. What's your name, sis? I'm Scholar. Scholar. Yeah. Scholar, what country are you from? Ghana. Where about in Ghana? Kumasi. Kumasi. Anyone from Kumasi here? Yeah. Hey, only four people, first time. Right. Now, what's your surname, Scholar? Ajimani. And why are you here today? You're here for medical. Name two of these tracks. <laughs> Name two of these tracks. Confirm. Confirm, that's one. How much? How much? Right, okay. We're giving away the cash prize of a thousand pounds. No, 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 no. Sharon? Yeah, it's not, it's not like 20 pounds, you know, it's a thousand. Okay. Before tonight, it was a thousand. It was a thousand. Each. It was a thousand pounds before tonight. Challenge. Medical has decided to give away two thousand pounds tonight. Damn sweet! Yeah. Wow. So we've got a competition which is going to be running soon in the evening. And but there's one more prize. We forgot about the last prize. Okay, what was it? It's a day with medical. You know how we like to play FIFA, 
E sharp challenge. He's gonna spend money on you. So it's a day out with medical. So the final prize is a day with AMG Medical here in the UK. So before we bring him out, we've got a quick clip that we want to show you, ladies and gentlemen. Who is excited to see AMG Medical? Oh, Charlie. I said, who is excited to see AMG Medical tonight? Thank you. The evening where we're going to break out the man himself, the man of the hour. The Adidas Mafia. The king of Omada. Whoa. He's coming. Come on. He's um, I should be a musician, I swear. He's um, oh my, hey, them feet. Be your feet, sorry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please make some noise for AMG Medical! Make some noise! Weather. It's quite bad, right? No, it's actually nice. You like the weather? <laughs> okay. Not with all my blanket. <laughs> so this is the part where you can interact with your fans, for people to know about you, your journey, and of course, everything to do with medical. So let's start. Why the name medical? Where did it come from? Um, the name medical, I get down at this school. Someone to teach you, right? Yeah. Some, some of us like... You don't understand pigeon language, innit? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> uh, so the name of the car, the time I did school, we my school father named me that name because he said they had the rap sick lines and the rap about hospital and that. So that be how, you know. I mean, I get in the rap, I just went there. Nice, it's quite unique. So how were you like at school? Were you the class clown? Were you quiet in your corner? What was your character like at school? Because me, I was talking too much, so how about you? Me, I was a smart one. Really? Yeah. But then at this school, you know, I'd get A, he said that. Wow. Yeah, no prayer, no prayer. <laughs> okay, medical, let me ask you something. You said in school, that's when they call you medical. Because you know how to rap. So if I give you a beat right now, you can do freestyle. Yeah, I hope you try something. Okay. Ooh, Charlie, <laughs> when did 
you discover if you had a love for music or you had a talent in music? What age were you around that you were like, okay, this is what I want to do, music is for me? Um, at the age of 13, that was when I recorded my first demo. Mm. Yes. Do you, do you remember the name of the demo? Uh, no. There will be a lot of songs. <laughs> you get me? Yeah. But yeah, at the age of 13, that, that was when I started recording. Nice. Yeah. And why rap? You could have chosen anything. Of course, you live in Ghana. High life, hip life was a big influence. So why did you choose rap? Um, because I wanted to tell a story. I wanted people to know, you know, where I came from and how I live and that. Let me tell you the way. It's in the house like, ah, if Lil Wayne is doing this, and then I used to rewrite the lyrics of Lil Wayne and perform at the entertainment and I was like, who here and I make her say no, I have to start doing this thing like telling my story to the people. So that was how it started. Okay. Yeah. Whichever come out of rap, do you think it was try other genres? Is rap the only thing you wanna do now? I, I sing as well. You sing? Yeah. Oh, wow. Hey! I sing as well. That be a uh, somebody can say what they say, yeah, as well. Oh, yeah. I don't want you. Yeah. Who would you? Who would you? Hold on, medical. When you, when, you, when you say singing, what kind of singing? Slow jam, I say. Which type? I don't know, I'm singing, I'm singing, I'm making sure I see a singing view. Make me sound okay. Slow jam. R&B. Any type of singing. It's very too easy to say. Meaning, they may love you, they love you, they love you, they love you, they love you. Uh-huh, I'm also with your torso. I know you're singing. One song here. So you have three songs. One of the songs that we say that really starts to do off Mind my pronunciation, Pitaka with Chris Waddle. That was the song that got you on the map, and people started to recognize that, rah, who's medical? This guy's coming up. What was the reaction when you realized that people were seeing your songs, you were hearing on the radio and the TV? How did you feel? Um, it was nice because that's what you do, and we never know, see, it just go enter like that. You know, it's been long, but. We still say whatever we hustle for, we actually achieve the dream, you understand? Because to really hear your song on radio, it's a blessing. Because we used to pay for that, and they don't even play it, or they play it once and that's it. Mm. But right now, they didn't put that back to back, you understand? So, yeah, it's, it's a blessing, it's nice. Amen. And what were the reactions of your friends, people who you had grown up with, now recognizing that, bro, my friend is legit? Mm. Uh, what was their reactions? Do you have a few people that were like, mm -mm. I'm not feeling on it, or do you have true friends who were supporting you from? Yeah, 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 I had a lot of friends. We, some of them, they like your thing, some too, you know, they talk about them, but obviously if you keep the do one and then they see you there, they see that, right, you, you, are, you, are, you are doing it, you are getting to the topic, I kind of cry, so, yeah. I get friends like that, we, they be happy, some too, they be happy, but they don't go feel anything about them, yeah, so. To be God, so yeah. 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 The picture was with Chris Waddle. What's your relationship like with Chris Waddle? I know you're AMG Medical, and AM, that's the AMG movement. He is kind of like the king of the AMG movement. What's your relationship? How do you mean it? Um, I, I meet Chris Waddle for BBM. You're the kind of time, Blackberry Day, BBM, ping, ping, ping. Yeah, that's why we used to talk, and then he told me he was going to put me on. This was like 2009. Into when we started talking, and then he told me that, and he put me on a couple of songs, and then he introduced me to a lot of people. So he helped my career. He's the reason why I'm sitting here today, here yeah, because and y'all know I can't make nobody go listen to me. So that's the reason. Right. So um, one, two. Can you not hear me at the back? No. One, two. Can you hear me? How many people? Ten. Right. Bear with us, ladies and gentlemen. So. AM, so you've got a lot of good relationships in the industry, Bissakede, Chatawale, Sister Ifia. You really stay away from a lot of the drama. How have you managed to really keep neutral away from all of it? Um, me, I just like to be happy and I don't like to hurt people. So obviously I will stay away, away from trouble because some of my fans get hurt when people are talking ill about me. And I, if you come and want some money, I told you, yeah, I'm a young man. Yeah, it's like, I don't know, I just have to shut down a bit. Oh, you have to go, I have to eat, so what's up with coming, you understand? 
but I try as much as possible to not to hurt anyone or not to affiliate myself with something that will get me involved in some madness and that you get me into. Yeah. Someone will do it. Yeah, so that's it. So if I was to ask you, what five Ghanaian artists would you love to record a track with? Whether High Life, Hip Life, and Zone 2. What five artists, whether alive or dead, would you love to record an artist, or record a track with? Ghanaians. Uh, obviously, Shatawali. Bisa uh, Kede. Sarkodie. Stoneboy. Dark of Vibes. Yeah. Why are they Papa? Anyway. What's the question? What's that phrase for me, I'm Brofon? Obviously, I can't. I know Babi, Mom Key, Pekin. So it means monkey picking. Monkey small baby. A monkey child. A monkey small boy. A monkey small boy. Yeah. Why did you wanna sing about a monkey small boy? What's it mean? Um, I do that. I don't even know why I do that. So. Oh my God. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I do it, Bobby. I do it, Bobby. You know, get funky. You know, monkeys are always jumping around and that. So, I'm like, yo, just get funky. Pose for the picture. Do this, do that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you also collab with Patava. That was a very, un a very unlike, unlikely collab. Why did you want to do that? What was it about him that made you think, I want to make a song with him? I like his energy. Some of Philip Patava. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The energy be crazy, you know. I like his spirit. I like his spirit. So, school scat spat. I will be a ordinary no. I will beat will beat so that. What's your name, guy? So going on to social issues, you haven't been silent when it comes to certain issue in, in Ghana. For for example, the tramadol issue. You actually um, made a song called "Don't Do Drugs." Why did you choose that that certain issue to make a song? What was it to you? Was it, of course, it affected young people, but why did it affect you so much that you had to make a song about it? Uh, because you see, I see me blow me, me, be a friend of the celebrity or oh uh, Ghana, I'm known, and a lot of kids follow my social media. Like a lot of people love my music and my craft, and that. So, if people listen to me and then do what I tell them to do, then maybe if I'm putting it out there that they shouldn't do drugs and that you go put an end to that, you go make somebody stop if they do one more, you go make somebody not do one because it's easy and it talks it, you know good, you understand? Mm -hmm. So that's why I did that, um, say no to drugs thing, yeah. Round of applause for that because people use that platform for me. Where did your name come from? Because I don't, I don't know where, where the name comes from. What does it mean? <laughs> <laughs> ah, this question, this question, you asked me. Like, I think she came late. Just answer for those. Okay. The, um, the, the medical, you know, come from school. Way back when I was in school, I was trying to prove to people that I was a sick rapper, and then I had this flow that it was all about hospital, like surgeons. I was just rapping deep, and they started teasing me with medical, so when they started teasing me, I had no, I had no option not to just accept the name and then, yeah, I kept it, but I just made my spelling a K, M-E-D-I-K, or instead of on the EP.
money on me. Give me high key. And now I'm gonna give you Give me three shells. For fun, baby. so much for coming to see AMG Medical. This is an intimate night. I want you to all give a round of applause for AMG Medical. Right, we have got this place till 2 a.m. So ladies and gentlemen, feel free to mingle, buy some drinks. DJ Noah is going to play some tunes. God is good. My name is Sam Kate. This is Sharon Rose. Thank you again for coming. <laughs> guys, Medical has a performance for you guys. He's going to perform some tracks. So that's him. Take video. Don't Nobody break us up. Nobody break us up. Oh, oh, oh. 
look like a unicorn. Wow. I didn't want to do this all time. Hey. 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 Hey.
Please go outside to the front. 